Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with MusicTeacher.com and in this lesson we're going to take a look at how to write a chord progression in the minor key. So in the last video we talked about how you guys can start using the major scale to construct major key chord progressions in any key. So in this video, we're gonna do the same thing, but with the minor scale. All of the tones you're hearing in this video are coming from the Blackstar Studio 10 6L6, which is mic'd up with the Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser microphone. So in order for us to actually start writing minor key chord progressions, first of all, we need to work out how to play in the minor key. So last time, like I said, we learned the major scale, which is this. <laughs> And if you think back to that lesson, we gave each one of those notes in the scale a number which we referred to as intervals. So we're going to use these intervals now to convert our major scale into our minor scale. So in that video, I did reference the major scale being a bit of a gateway into theory, and we can basically create other scales and other things in the theory world from that one scale. So that's what we're going to do right now. So to convert this to a minor scale, otherwise known as the natural minor scale, we have to first of all think of those intervals, numbers one through seven, and what their corresponding notes are. So we've got A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and back to A. So those notes are gonna be very important in us working out what our minor equivalents are. So first of all, we're gonna look at the minor scale. So to do this, we need to change a few notes of this scale. So instead of one, two, three, we actually need to be playing what's called a flat three. This is the note in a chord that determines whether it's major or minor. So you get a major third and a minor third. So in the major scale, we're playing a major third, which is a C sharp note. But what we need to do to make this minor is we need to flatten this note. So to flatten the note, we simply just take it down a semitone. And instead of a C sharp, it becomes a C. So my first few intervals are now one, two, flat three. Now to go from here, back to the flat three here is a bit of a jump. So I'm gonna rejig the scale shape a little bit and move this third fret note to the eighth fret here on the low E string. So I've got A, B, C. In the minor scale, the four and five are exactly the same, so that's still gonna be D and E. So, so far I've got one, two, flat three, four, five. Now in the major scale, I had a six, which is my F sharp, and a seven, which is my G sharp. I need to flatten both of those notes now to F and G. So it's a flat six and a flat seven. So the F sharp becomes an F, and the G sharp becomes a G. Now once again, I can rejig this a little bit, so instead of coming to the third fret on the D string for my F note, I can put that here on the eighth fret of the A. My G note is fine here on the fifth of the D. So I've got A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So those are my seven notes in the first octave of the natural minor scale. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. One, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. So now we need to apply chord types to each of those intervals, and that's gonna give us the chords we can use to construct minor key chord progressions. So because we're playing in a minor key, and we're starting from an A, our first chord has to be minor, so that's gonna be an A minor. In the minor key, the second note now, which is a B, this is gonna be our minor seven flat five. The third chord in a minor key is always a major, so that's gonna be C major. The four and five chords are always gonna be minor, so that's gonna be D minor and E minor. And then our flat six and flat seven, or our six and seventh chords, are gonna be F and G. So that's A minor, B minor seven flat five, C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major. So you can see this rule is not too different to the way we worked it out in major. We've just basically substituted a few notes there. So we've flattened the three, flattened the six, and flattened the seven. So that gives us 
one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. In doing so, we've changed the C sharp to a C, the F sharp to an F, and the G sharp to a G. The other thing we've done is we've just jumbled up the order of the chords, so we're starting on a minor chord. So the formula for minor key chord progressions is one is the minor, two is the minor seven, flat five, three is the major, four and five are minor, six and seven, or flat six and flat seven, are major chords. So that is our formula to start writing minor key chord progressions. Now we just need to put it together. So the great thing in minor key chord progressions is that everything we know from major chord progressions remains the same. We can string any of those chords together and they will work. So for instance, I could go from an A minor to a D minor, which is a one to a four. <laughs> That's always going to work because both of those chords are part of the same parent chord family, which is A minor. Now I could take that one step further and I could add the V chord, for instance. Or instead of going to the four and five, I could go to the sixth and seventh chords, which is F and G. Maybe you want to add that C major chord to the mix. We could go A minor, F major, G major, C major. For a songwriter, this is great because you can really still use your number-based systems, and this really helps when it comes to changing key. So if you wanted to shift this to a different key, just like last time, simply shift the scale to the new position, apply the chord types to the intervals, and there's your chords for whatever key you're moving in. If you come up with a progression in A that's a 1-4-5, or like I did there, a 1-6-7, you could just simply move that to a new key and use the first, fourth, and fifth, or first, sixth, and seventh notes of that key. And there is your progression transposed to another position. Just like with a major key, you're probably not going to lean too much on that minor seven flat five, which in this case is a B minor seven flat five. But in a minor key, with it being the second interval of the scale, it's a little more usable. So you're probably not going to base an entire song around it, but once again, it's great to use as a passing chord on your way back to the root. So there you go, there is the natural minor scale in the key of A minor, but with the theory to accompany that, you can move this around to any position you want, and now you are set up to write chord progressions in any key, major or minor. So if you haven't already checked out the major chord video, please go check that out as well on the Black Star YouTube channel, and start creating chord progressions in whatever key you want, anywhere on the guitar, armed with a very simple bit of theory. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please let us know down below in the comments what you thought, how you got on, and more importantly, if there is anything else you'd like to see us talk about in future lessons, please throw that below as well. And don't forget to check out the Black Star Amplification YouTube channel for more lesson videos just like this. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please check out musicteacher.com. There's a network of fantastic teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.